How are y'all doing today? Good, good. 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 Watch that please get on. Y'all see wherever you like. Three, two, one. We have children's lap this underneath the front two seats and the middle lap this under the rest of the seats. We've never used any of them, not planning on starting today. That's just that. We also have cold drinks behind the bar back here on the right. Uh, water Coach Fry, Dr. Pepper. They've now come up to five dollars a feet in the maritime office. You must be Dr. Someone's getting there a dollar. Go for yourself, hand me a dollar. We also have a restroom on the boat. It uh, has no running water, so it is a number one only. And if you use it, please put all paper products in the trash. Because you put them in the toilet, or you pick a mess in the toilet, then the plumber has to deal with it. Well, he's a grouchy fella. He's like, walk okay, paper in there. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Didn't you tell them? I'm like, yeah, I told them, man. They didn't listen. Well, I don't believe you. Rubber, rubber, rubber. By the way, I'm also the plumber. You make a mess in there, and I will talk to myself in a bad way. All right. No uh, standing in the seat. No running up and down the aisles like a wild banshee. Please stay inside the gate. Do not throw anything in the water. That includes yourself and or your children. And it is against a lot of people's office. Ten thousand dollar fine. Alright, so if we see dolphins on one side, then you folks stay sitting on that side, and then the people on the other side can stand up and look over, and vice versa. And when and if we see dolphins, I will send them around, making sure everybody gets an equal opportunity to test my ability. Right here on the right is the Ocean Star. It is the jacked up drilling platform that used to drill for oil in the Gulf of Mexico. It is now a museum. You can take a of seven days a week. See what it's like to drill for oil. Awesome. They have a plethora of rich information in there you can read about drilling for oil. Take about two hours to read it all, matter of fact. And it brings up the thing. All right, give me a little rock and roll we got going on here in the corner. It brings up the thing. They got cool stuff to look at. And right there, look, they're loading up uh, used cars going to Africa right now. This stock is import, export, I say import, brand new BMW submitting cookers in this stock. All that heavy equipment made by Caterpillar, Kamatsu, Bobo, Link Belt, John Deere, and Kane, just to name a few. And they export anything they can push, shove, drag, roll, or drive on those ships. Going all over the world. Their largest export order is the new cars going to Africa. Now, did y'all know baby dolphins are born tail fin first? They come out tail fin first because if they came out head first and there was any delay at all, they may not make it to the surface to get that first breath of air. So they come out head last, that way their whole body's free before they have to come up. But a mother dolphin would like to give her baby an even better chance. So before she gives birth, she will choose a midwife or a sister dolphin to help out. And when that baby is born, that midwife or sister dolphin will help push that baby to the surface to get its first breath of air. Now when her mother says, aww, I can let her mother. She will also stay with the mother and the baby for up to two years helping train and take care of that baby. How many of y'all got a sister help you with your babies for two years? Or who would you want her to? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, that's close, right? I got a dolphin on the left of me, dolphin on the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. I know, keep your day job, boy. Somebody do me a favor and close that bathroom door back there. Make sure it's closed and stay flat. Yes, sir. Like your boat, start fishing boat, just about every other kind of boat you can think of. And the building with the seahorse on it, they got racks and racks of boats and dry stores. 
And the shrimp diva, the only female shrimp around here. Y'all give her a hunger over here on the left. She's gonna have her own uh her own uh, reality show off of this boat right here. So y'all give the uh, shrimp diva a big wave and a holler over here on the left. Hi Nikki! What's up guys? There's your mini me, I see. <laughs> So all these buildings back here in the back is John Seeley Hospital, University of Texas Medical Branch, better known as UTMB Open. It is the oldest hospital in West Mississippi. And they have a Shriner Children's Burn Hospital on the other side attached to it as well. And when John Seeley was buying all this property up back here, there were a lot of waterfront homes across the back and on the left hand side. And they offered everybody three times what their property was worth. So they all jumped on it, man, that was a lot of money. All but one guy, his name William Wallace. He did not want to sell his property. He was otherwise known as Bigfoot Wallace because he was almost seven foot real hard, but he ended up winning his case. He never had to sell. So, but he ended up on his deathbed with a heart attack as well. On his deathbed, he made his children promise to never sell the property. They said, yes, Daddy, we love you. We'll never sell. Well, as soon as he died, they sold it for twice what it's worth. And his house was right here behind the Excalibur where this concrete panel building is. As soon as they completed construction, right there in the corner behind these little trailers, you look at that top panel up at the top, his face appeared up there. And that freaked him out. So they acid washed him off. He showed up in the middle panel down facing out. They acid washed him off again. Then he showed up right above that black door in the corner here in front of me. And uh, he's still there. They just didn't wash him off. Right there above the black door, you can see his face. If you take a picture with your phone and then stretch it out, you can see it much better than you can with your naked eye. Now I'll go you one better than that. If you Google UTMB ghost story, everybody will try to Google on their phone, right? UTMB ghost story, they'll show you a real picture of Bigfoot Wallace and a picture of that panel in bright sunlight. It's quite freaky how close that looks just like it. So that's the official uh, face on the wall here in Gallup. Oh, Bigfoot Wallace.
stops in my pocket for a free appetizer or dessert with your meal. One per table, see me at the coffee glass if you want. Now that's all the time we have, folks. I hope y'all enjoyed the service. I'll watch you all. Know. If you had a good time, please tell your friends and or social on the everybody that you have a picture. If for some odd reason you did not have a good time, do me a favor. You just keep this to yourself and don't tell them. I had a good time. Folks, I do work for Tips. If you can help me out, that's a wonderful thing. I don't worry about it. But as we head into the trip, I need everybody to remain seated until we get to the dock. I will step off for a few moments to get to the dock. And 